Hey everyone, welcome back to Knowing Nuclear. Today we're going to be looking at the energy densities of different fuel types. As we already know, in our day-to-day -day lives, we have access to a wide range of different fuels in order to meet our energy demands. But as our society continues to grow, the demand for energy is going to increase, so it may become necessary to use more energy dense fuels going forward. Now, let's start by looking at some of the most common fuels that we might encounter in our daily lives. Let's start out with wood. This is at the lowest end of the spectrum, and it only has about 16 megajoules of energy per kilogram of fuel. Now, this is the kind of thing you'd put into a wood burning stove or a campfire. Next, let's look at coal. Now, coal is used all over the world in quite a wide range of energy purposes, but it's only a little bit more energy dense than wood, sitting at 24 megajoules per kilogram. Next, we have biodiesel, which can be used to drive cars, and it's typically leftover fry oil from fast food restaurants and stuff like that. Biodiesel has 38 megajoules of energy per kilogram. Next, we have regular diesel, which is an oil product, and it sits at 45 megajoules per kilogram. Then we have gasoline, which we're all very familiar with, which sits at 46. Now, the highest end of this is natural gas, which we use in our homes for gas stoves, furnaces, hot water heaters, as well as to make electricity. And natural gas has 55 megajoules per kilogram. Now, this seems good when you compare it to wood, but let's take a look at something that is just a little bit better. All right, let's look at nuclear fuels. Pictured here is uranium yellow cake, which is used for nuclear reactors. So at a first glance, you may think this is the only thing on this graph. But notice the y-axis. The scale is quite a bit different. That is because nuclear fuels have 3.9 million megajoules of energy per kilogram of fuel. 3.9 million. That is 70,000 times more energy dense than natural gas. So it is extremely, extremely significant. And if we want to be able to meet growing energy demands of a growing society, it is going to be necessary that we take advantage of how much energy nuclear fuels have to offer.